Hello and welcome back to Wall Street Training's Complex Training Comps Analysis. Here, let's now input our Kohl's inputs into our Training Comps template. Inventory method. This is going to be a tricky one here. I want you now to flip to for your inventory method for Kohl's page F8. Page F8. And this is going to be key here because this is also going to be a change to our uh, adjustment that we need to make. Let's read this. It says, Merchandise inventories are valued at the lower of cost of market. The company changed its accounting method of its method of accounting for inventory from the last in first out LIFO to the first in first out FIFO method. Company believes that adopting the LIFO uh, the FIFO method provides more transparent financial reporting that is consistent with the company's changing business environment with respect to the sourcing of goods and the nature of its inventory. The cumulative effect of the change with a 2.4 million increase to gross margin, that's important, that's gross profit, recorded in the quarter ending whatever. Because the accounting change was not material, blah, 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 no retroactive statement of prior years were made. As of this date, inventories would have been whatever higher if they had been valued using the FIFO method. So what I would like to do is, let me explain to you exactly what LIFO and FIFO is. For that, I will start a new worksheet here and take a look at the explanation. This is for Kohl's LIFO FIFO adjustment. What exactly does this mean? If you may recall from some of your old accounting classes, and if not, let me explain it to you very quickly. Let's pretend that I have beginning inventory of one widget at $10. I have now one purchase at $15 for a new widget, for a total of two widgets. Using the LIFO method, which says last in, first out. In other words, the last item that came in, that's this purchase, that is the one that I will recognize as my cost of goods sold. That's the one I physically sold, let's say. So what I would say here is my sales, I sold one widget that year. I had one widget, $10 to begin, a $15 widget. That was the last one I bought, and I sold it for 20 bucks. Under the LIFO method, your cost of goods sold is $15. $15 bucks because you spent that $15 bucks on that, and therefore your gross profit is $5. Now, this purchase, this last $15, is gone. If it's gone, then what is the inventory of that one widget that's still on the books because you use lower of cost or market? The inventory ending balance is the initial $10 that you didn't touch, that first widget. So this $15 is the last one, the $10 is the first one. So the LIFO refers to the fact that the last one in the door was the first one you sold. Let's take a look at FIFO. Sales is the same $20. First in, first out. The first one, I, the first one in the door was the, the oldest one, that's the first one I sell. So what's my COGS for the year? Only $10, that's the first one. What's my gross profit? $10. What's the ending balance of my inventory? Well, I sold the first $10 item. The last widget at 15 bucks, I didn't sell yet. $15. So what we're trying to say is as follows. On the income statement, you like to use LIFO. Why? Because this uses the most recent prices. And it's a better reflection of profitability. This is the latest profitability number because the prices have gone up in a rising price environment. Balance sheet, however, we like to see FIFO because then that represents the most accurate asset value on the books, inventory-wise. Most accurate asset value. Does that make sense? I'm going to erase this, what you see on the screen in a second, so make sure that you understand this here. What we're trying to say once again is that there's going to be a significant, well, significant depending on the actual prices, there will be a difference between the reported gross profit numbers based on your inventory method, assuming that prices have not stayed still, which they don't. Now, the vast majority of retailers use the LIFO method, last in, first out, which actually is going to show slightly lower gross profit but this is a better reflection of the current pricing and profitability environment, unless you start eating into your LIFO layer, which we won't get into here, your LIFO reserve. Now, 
Cole said we switched from LIFO to FIFO. And when we switched from LIFO to FIFO, what happened? Suddenly, versus the old days, by not changing anything in your business, but just accounting treatment, what happened to your gross profit? Increased. So we need to take that increased amount, in this case $5, we need to take that difference and we need to subtract it, assuming that that is the correct reason. Now, if prices went down to $5, then all your numbers will go the opposite direction. So you can't say that just because I went from LIFO to FIFO that I should subtract out to get it back to the LIFO method. You cannot say that. But what you can say is, well, let me go see it, what the difference is. So let's take a look at what we have for here. It says, the cumulative effect was a $2.4 million increase to gross profit, to gross margin. So that means that there was a rising price environment. So therefore, what we now want to say is, well, Coles said that they had a $2.4 million increase. So if this was an increase to our gross profit number, we must subtract. Okay? to our net income number, our after-tax adjustment, we must take 2.4 negative times 0.6, because they did not give us the after-tax amount. And for our EPS adjustment, negative 2.4 times 0.6 for our taxes, divided by the applicable shares outstanding, these are the two inputs that we will need to make to gross profit and earnings per share, and this as well to EBIT, which also affects, therefore, EBITDA. So therefore, this is the first of two adjustments that we will need to make. So what i like to do now is, we're going to clear the screen and go back to our inputs. And in our inputs, in cell H41, first of all, we're going to say FIFO now. Let's just, for the 